I'm sure you've already talked about this, but just kind of that touchdown at the end. How good was it to kind of finally break through, break through and what did you see on that play? Oh, it was great for me to get that touchdown. Of course, you know, we were struggling a little bit during uh, the, the first half and a little bit of the second half. And, you know, for me to go make that touchdown, it really gave us the momentum to go and keep scoring. Jalen said he felt like some guys were maybe straining tonight a little bit. Maybe that led to some of the mistakes. Did you kind of sense that or feel that within the team tonight? Uh, no, nah, not really. You know, all I have to do is just believe in your teammates. You know, of course, they made bad plays, you know, but you always got to be 1-0 and and get ready for the next play. What kind of changed in the fourth quarter of those last couple of minutes for the offense that y'all were able to kind of get things going? You no, know, we know we, at, during that halftime, we knew we had to lock in. Mm -hmm. You know, it was too many mistakes during that first half. You know, for us to win the game, we got to go out there and do better the second half. When, uh, I guess, I mean, just the turnovers in the second half. I mean, what did you guys do to correct them? What was the message? And how do you fix that going forward? Uh, for me, I had that, uh, that bad form in the second half. You know, of course, I was a little heated about that. But, you know, it's always been one to know, you know, Coach told me, you know, that, that place is over with. You know, you just got to get ready for the next play. Yeah, and for you to then have that touchdown uh, like you did, I mean, how big was that for your confidence to go to finish that way? Oh, it was big out for me, but the offense, what a team in general, you know, for me to score, it really gave us the momentum to go keep scoring. Yeah, do, you, do you think younger Jam would have been able to shake that fumble off? Uh, like, like you were able to tonight in the score later? Oh, yeah, most definitely. You know, you know, people make mistakes. You, know, you just got to learn from it. You know, you just got to get better, you know, in and out during practice. How much of a boost did Elijah give you guys coming in at the right tackle spot? I know he was kind of banged up, but it seemed like when he came in, it, you guys were able to move the ball a lot more on the ground. Oh, yeah, we all believe in our teammates. You know, if we're from the older guy to the youngest, you know, we always just believe in each other. If a, new guy, if a new guy come in in a game, you know, we know what he's going to do and he's going to do it the best. What does it say, too, for a guy that's banged up a little bit to come in and, you know, play through that and kind of rally you guys? He got that fight mentality. You know, sometimes you got to fight through anything. And he was a guy, too, I mean, after, I think it was after Justice's touchdown that and he was fired up in the end zone. He's fired up on the sideline. Maybe he was behind that for us. You know, when good things happen, you know, when you do your job on the field, you know, good plays happen. Can you maybe walk us through maybe that touchdown? I don't know if you were already asked this. That's kind of what was going through your mind and how important was it for you to step up in that moment? I know for us to get that momentum, I had to get in the end zone. And, you know, for me to make that big play, it gave us the momentum to keep on and scoring. When the offense is trying to get things going early in the game, what's Caleb DeBoer like on the What's he saying? What's his energy? You know, he keeps saying it. Just want to know. Always want to know. You know, if a bad play happens, you got to flush it away and get ready for the next. What was his mentality during halftime? What did he talk to you guys? You know, he was just kept encouraging us. Kept encouraging us to get better. You know, go out there and do the best. What about after the game? Just kind of what happened? Positive. Oh, he was very positive at the game. He never had no doubt in us. He knew what we was going to do during that second half, and we succeeded. How do you prepare maybe the young guys on the offense going on the road environment, specifically a Big Ten environment? Uh, my advice from I say when I was a freshman, you know, I just watched the older guys, you know, all the older guys and what they did good, you know, and I just took it in and took it out on the field. What did you think when you first? I heard that. How many games that made you adopted? You know, when I first heard that, you know, it was, it was I ain't really heard it before, but as he kept bringing it up more and more, you know, it started getting people in mind that, you know, don't worry about the bad play or the previous play. Just get ready for the next because the next play is going to be a great play. Caitlin said that this game isn't necessarily a wake up call, but a good learning lesson. What can this team and this offense learn from this game tonight? You know, it all started in practice. You know, we just got to learn from our mistakes. You know, we're going to watch film. You know, tomorrow over the game, we just got to get better when we get bad. Thanks, Jim.